Hello there everyone and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. Last time around we invaded Canada with... Uh, what was it? Pickett, yes. General Pickett uh, invaded Canada and this time around we're invading Mexico. And you might be able to guess who the general is just by looking at this fellow right ahead of us. Let's give it a few seconds if you can guess. Oh, it's Jackson. Stonewall Jackson. And with that said, let's go ahead and start the match and see if we can't conquer Mexico. So, similar to last time, uh, it's a rather large map as you might be able to tell if you can see the map down here. And uh, yeah, it's quite a large map and we've got the Mexican army over here lining up or trying to line up as best they can. There's since the main feature of the map is a big river going straight through it, as far as I've seen, there's only two crossings, one of which is here, leading to the small town. I don't think there's anyone further here. And then there's one all the way down here, by the forest. And so I've sent a small detachment to move over here, so we've got three regiments or uh, one of my brigades it's confederate mounted infantry it's confederate engineers and then the 25th virginia together with a confederate uh, dragoon unit uh, which is already crossing the river the main force however consists of one dragoon then we've got three units of cavalry all of them horse drawn as you can see and then we've got a long column here of troops, beginning with Rhodes Brigade and so forth. We're not going to go through all of them um, right here in the start. So, uh, yeah, it's probably going to take a while until I'm actually able to start shooting at the enemy. But rest assured, we'll turn back. You know what? Let's take a quick look at the Mexicans before I go ahead and... Uh, jump into when we actually fight them so Republican Guard dressed in white so they will be quite easily distinguishable from the other so we have a clear view of who are the elite troops among the Mexicans and here are the regulars suspiciously um, they look very much like the British just different colors and I do believe yes Mexican militia, so we'll have to keep an eye out. So uh, the militia looks very similar to the uh, the um, the guard units, and the officer kind of looks like he's got a union dress on, what, uh, uniform. Got some Republican cavalry as well, and I have given the Mexicans some cannons. But I'm not entirely sure where they've put them. Oh, there they are. So they've got some Napoleon 12-pounders. So hopefully this should be sort of a fair fight. But with that said, uh, let's jump into the actual combat, shall we? And here we have the first action of uh, the battle. We've got our cavalry charging against the uh, enemy cavalry trying to force them back across the river and as we can see they're actually retreating across the river uh, seeing our charge we've got the militia coming up so um, we'll rally the cavalry once more oh, they're already exhausted so then not only have they uh, used sort of the morale system of uh, Napoleon Total War 3 uh, clearly, they've also used the fatigue system where cavalry usually only have one charge within them and then they're spent. Takes quite a while for them to get back in order. Right, uh, my cannons are coming up, so I don't want to place them here in the corn or whatever weeds these are growing in Mexico. So instead, we want to. I want one cannon on the side here in a position so they can kind of shoot this way but they can also shoot this way and support the units that which are coming up there and then the other two we will place on either side 
on this crossing. So the Mexicans have been very slow. They fell back once they saw that cavalry charge. They have, however, had the militia cross before the cavalry, which I find highly suspicious. They also took a few pot shots at um, they took a few pot shots at uh, Jackson as he was moving over. And we have suffered a few casualties due to Mexican cannon fire among the cavalry. However, I'm hoping to sweep these guys away and get my artillery in position. Charge the militia! I'm not entirely sure why the Mexicans decide to send up the militia first. That's a positively a horrible decision. But I guess they, just like I mistake the militia for a guard unit, so might the Mexican general have. As the militia is now routing, and they're gonna route right into the rest of the troops trying to cross. And that's gonna cause quite a bit of problem. So unlike what happened uh, with my fight, with the oh we're gonna have to retreat the cavalry because the enemy is firing quite heavily I'll have to move the cannons so far forward to actually get a good position so I guess well they they are kind of covered there if we're looking at just where where my cannon placements will be because I I don't really dare put them any closer just given um, the location of the enemy troops right now. I'm gonna make sure though that the cannons will be able just to fire over the lip of the hill here to be able to lay canister at a good at a good range at the enemy. Let's see if we the cavalry can come to the flank again. And maybe I'll put the, these cannons right here. So if they come up the road, I can shoot them. But right now, I don't feel confident in moving them. I would have to move the cannons all the way up here. Which I don't think is going to work out that well. And I just noticed that this cavalry unit is now taking fire. We've got militia and uh, Republican regulars. However, our infantry has just arrived. And we'll be moving out into line. So I'll move the cavalry out here. And then they can sweep in on the flank on these. So it looks like they've just sent three, which is nice. So we match our numbers. I want you to uh, use canister. They've all lost one of the artillery limbers. So most likely we're going to keep these guns here. For now. I want the canister to fire right over there. However, it looks as though the cannons... Yes, I was a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too confident to put the cannons that close up front. Sending forwards the Republican Guard. However, at this point... The infantry units have arrived. I will take these three. We will deploy them on the right of those cannons. We'll take these three and deploy them on the left. And then we'll have the three last. Will be reserves in the back. Okay, re retreat back. And then we'll reman those guns up ahead once the enemy here has been dealt with. So. I want the cannons to open fire on them. And I want this these cannons to... Let's see. Oh, it looks like the Mexicans are pulling back over here. So I guess they've got a counter order not to attack us here. So we'll follow... The Mexicans. The cavalry will move up there. So 
So at this point there's quite a few Mexicans that have come up over the hill. Switch to canister. And we'll get you far behind here. Need to keep an eye out for that Mexican cavalry. They outnumber my units. Okay, we're gonna have to deploy the lines a lot sooner. And I think we'll have to run into position. I don't think we can fit more than two units here, actually. And we'll have one third in reserve. We're hella close now. Right. Two units. The Republican Guard and Republican Regulars, which at this point are taking canister shot. Let's have the general move forwards. Take up a good position. The infantry, Confederate engineers and regulars will be deployed to open fire on the enemy. Let's gain some ground as the enemy is now pulling back under tremendous confederate fire from both cannon and musket. And we're continuing our progress on this side. The cavalry has gone quite far up ahead. Could see about maybe trying to snipe out the enemy's artillery position. But it's well guarded at this point with cavalry. I'm wondering if I can... Uh, they're moving kind of close. I wonder if I can get a unit up on the ridge here. Able to fire on the Mexican units below. Okay, let's get up all the way up to the cannon. And then completely claim this side. Cavalry. Move over here and we'll see can push the Mexicans across and uh, make sure that we get that choke point. Kind of uh, silly of the Mexicans not to take that choke point straight ahead and leave us to actually uh, take control of this position. The Mexicans are opening fire on the 15th Alabama which at this point has lost 15 men. But not to worry, they're wheeling into position and will be returning fire shortly. We've got the 8th, 8th Alabama, the Emerald Guard. Ready to open fire. Punishing those Mexicans. More Mexicans are coming up straight through the gap here. And we continually punish them with canister. Going straight through, you can see some holes opening up in their lines as they try to advance on us. So we have met no resistance here, so let's continue just to march and have the cavalry trail on the side here. And then as we can see, oh my cannons are actually firing at... I was afraid that was going to be a general's unit, but it wasn't. Oh, we are. We will be able to fire back and forth over the uh, over the river, and just with a little bit of artillery support. I think everything will turn out just fine. So the Mexicans keep walking into this trap here and getting shot to pieces. However, I really want to push over so we claim this point, so they can't get over. I wonder if Jackson's gonna send in the North Carolinians, North Carolinians, to push further there. We are firing from the hill. The thing is, the Mexican units outnumber all the Confederate units. Uh, nothing that we should be too worried about. 
since that's exactly what happened uh, or what we met when we fought the Union. And the Union is definitely a greater adversary than Mexico. Yeah, they, they keep moving up troops. Eventually, we might see, uh, see our troops falling back. We do have enough troops here. You know what? Put you as reserve here. I don't think that side's gonna break. But we put these two here and we see maybe we can push a little bit harder. The Republican Guard is firing back at our Emerald Guards. Come on, potato farmers! What are the Mexicans doing? The Mexican cavalry... Looks like they're gearing up for a charge, but who are they charging? Oh, the Mexicans have moved really close to the regular infantry and the engineers. Keep it up, boys. Punish the bastards. Oh, the Mexicans are moving up here as well. Are they planning to uh, do a bayonet charge? What is their plan? Clearly, they have no plan whatsoever. Okay, so with we're putting down quite good fire from the hill, and then we've got the cannons aiding on. So this unit, Rhodes Brigade, is holding out against these two. However, they're going to receive a lot of fire from these guys. So I want this brigade to move in. And let's see if we can get the cavalry closer. And uh, we need to break that cavalry unit. Quite a few Mexican units are pulling back. If we can break this, I wonder if we can break that. We've we've got it. We can move up. You know what? Let's gain some ground here. Let's make sure that these guys don't come back. Get both. And this unit is now going to be able to lay fire down upon anyone trying to cross. They're really coming close, the Mexicans here. 15th Alabama. God damn it, hold the line. Hold the line, goddammit. Oh, they're charging. The Mexicans are charging. Keep up the fire, boys. Mexican officer is closing in. Oh, and it's a bayonet fight. But just as the fight starts... The Mexicans retreat. You know what? We can whip them, boys. We can whip them. And I want these two to advance. The Alabamans are countercharging and making sure that those Mexican boys won't be coming back. And quite quickly, my Alabamans have completely annihilated the Mexican unit and can now push forward to deal with those Republican guards. Forward! You will hold right there. You will get support by the Emerald Guard and the 11th Georgia will put them here, back here for now. Artillery switched to round shot and I don't know where we can fire here. Just hold your fire for now. You know what? Let's join in. Get these guys up on the hill firing down and these guys are now advancing into enemy fire, which I kind of missed. So uh, the engineers and the, the mounted infantry. However, I think 
our troops are superior to that of the Mexicans. So we should be able to win this fight here. I'll turn the cannons on these guys. The uh, horsemen should be ready and done for a charge. If I want to. And at the same time over here. Got a bit of a firefight in between the Alabamans. And that one Republican guard. You can have the cavalry come in and threaten them. And hopefully try to force them away. Let's plug this gap and see if I cannot turn this unit a little bit better. Oh, we have quite a bad position here as the enemy the enemy cannons are right there. Oh, we might have gone a really good cannon shot bouncing through here. Or maybe it's just some really good... Uh, a really good shootout here in between the troops. Funny how the militia stands longer than the regular unit. And we got our men up here. Alabama Volunteers. Rhodes Brigade. Right, the enemy has been defeated and sent away. Let's see if I can get those cannons back up here. Get the crew back up. Let's get the 15th forward. Let's have the cavalry be ready to push through there. I don't really have... You know what? It's worth it, I think. The fight is over. Right, and here we have my second attempt of completing this battle. This time around, I kind of did a, a Buford. Um, or what was he called? I sent forward my cavalry, dismounted them, and I held the position long enough for the cavalry to set up. Oh, not the cavalry, the cannons to set up. And we've been spraying this area with canister and forcing the enemy away. Also, as you can see, most of my artillery pieces has lost one cannon as we advanced. But at this point, I have actually gone ahead and defeated most of the enemy. Um, cannon units. However, we'll see how long this lasts as we've got two Mexican units marching straight for my cannons. However, my infantry is on the way. At this point, however, I should point out that I didn't actually save the setup for the first battle, so these units will be different from the ones in the first part of the battle. This one might, is probably going to be a little more intense as we've got tons of Mexican troops already up on the line here. Very close to the cannons. Go ahead and blow a hole in that line. Boom. And third cannon. Ooh, right through two units there. Shit, the enemy. Oh shit, they're going for the general, are they? Let's see if we can get my uh, cavalry fellows to get back on line. Hurry up and try to save the cannons. Get back on your cannons. Forget about the cavalry. Forget about the cavalry. Get back on those guns. Saz. Okay, these guys have been pushed away. Most likely due to enemy rifle fire from across the river. I um, will redeploy this unit. Let's see if we can't force the enemy away. So at this point, no side kind of really has that many cannons. Got these this reserve line. Actually, go ahead and tell that one to move to the flank. And we'll try to envelop the enemy as we did last time. And hopefully that will work out just fine. Tell these three units to hold fire. We'll get the cannon around. Jackson. Oh, the enemy. Cavalry is right there. 
Hold. No, the Mexicans charge. The 11 Georgia is, however, able to return fire on the Mexican cavalry. Enough so that we actually sent them away. We need to continue marching here though. We cannot stop to fight at the Mexicans. Keep up. And turn there. Right. So the Confederate, we will be able to get onto our horses again. But there's not a lot of men left. However, as we can see, the Mexicans have now concentrated all their force around this area. Which should work just fine for us. Let's make sure we'll send these guys to chase off these. To make sure that they are sent completely off the field. Are they back already? Let's hope that they we can send them away once more. Let's try to get this cannon in somewhere. Let's, put, let's deploy them right in the center and then we'll have to sh shuffle the units around a bit. Hopefully we'll be able to defeat these guys. Yes, this time they're broken for good, I think. They won't be coming back. It's a thin gray line defending against the Mexican onslaught. Rhodes Brigade. South Carolina Volunteers will deploy the cannon right behind the South Carolinans. Virginia Volunteers, lots of Mexican regulars marching straight at them. Okay, the South Carolina, I will tell you to retire behind the cannons. Oh, it's going to be nasty here once the... Uh, the regulars are ready to return fire on the volunteers. They might break. Let's be ready with a 15 to shore up a gap that could possibly open up there. Oh, they might be charging here. 24th will stand right behind the 11th, Georgia, and be ready to possibly bayonet attack. right ahead here. We've got mass route among the Mexicans. The canister being fired open up holes in the Mexican line. The enemy cavalry unit is thoroughly gone at this point. And we've got massive route among the Mexicans. Let's get our cavalry over here quickly and see if we cannot end this today. More Virginia Volunteers. Get in line! God damn you! Before the Mexicans get here. Oh, the Mexicans gonna s go ahead and stand right in front of us. Great. This is gonna be <laughs> great once these guys uh, go ahead and... Uh, uh, no mercy for the Mexicans. Not entirely sure how I missed how yeah, we missed there firing the revolver. The Mexicans are in full retreat. Right, I think here on the flank is where we've got the the best avenue of advance. So we're not actually in the way of the canister. The Mexicans are. They have rallied. Let's see if we can put two units up here. What is this? Republican militia and a cannon unit. We've defeated militia before. So charge straight at them, boys. Oh, the militia is... No, it's a cannon unit that's given up. Hopefully that panic spreads to uh, the Mexican militia. And we can push through and sort of uh, stop them from uh, stop them from behind. I was about to say, well, that sounds weird. Oh, 
got a really good thing going on here. And hopefully we'll be able to actually finish this one. Continue the cavalry will continue through. They only lost nine men while almost killing a hundred Mexicans of the militia. Charging through the militia. Slaughtering as they go. They will hit this regular unit. I would not want to be in the among these guys. Seems like they're mostly fired into the hill. Oh, are they? It looked like they were forming a square. The regulars are in a little bit of a better position to withstand, just because they have higher morale and so forth. But given the fact that the unit ahead of them slaughtered so many Mexicans that they've got two extra chevrons, I don't think they will be, sta uh, be standing there for too long. However, it's kind of wasteful to get lose this unit. Looks like the cavalry is winning that fight though. So it's not that bad. Poor this Mexican unit. Marching just straight into all the fire that's coming from all these units. Except this one I was about to say, but they fired their volley. Okay, my cavalry broke off. There's still 140 of them, so they will be back. And they slaughtered a ton of Mexicans in this fight. And really weakened the Mexican rear guard. This year, once this unit is gone, this entire side can start to move up. You know what? We can already move up. We'll end this. We'll end this today. Can we fire some shrapnel down there? Okay, shrapnel doesn't work that far, apparently. I thought it was those that explode in the air above the enemy. Right. Turn to face those guys. You know what? We'll tell the cannon to hold fire and limber. We'll can push, put it in another position if we want to. The Mexican cavalry is back. Oh, and these guys have finally kind of showed up. Most likely they won't be able to take part in the battle. Because the map is so big. Okay, so we'll put the 11th right up there on the hill. And then we'll put the other three behind. Tell them to hold fire so they don't shoot the guys on the hill. Wonderful. South Carolinians will plug the gap here. These guys will hold fire. And we'll move the cannon further. I think what I can do, I can place it up here where the other cannons were. And then this one can move forward and I can fire above them. You know what? We can end this today with a bayonet charge. Steady boys! Discipline wins the day. The reserves will advance. And Jackson will move up to oversee this bayonet charge. A bayonet charge to end all bayonet charges. We'll have the uh, 11th fire and then all three of these units will move forward in a charge. Okay, they fired. You know what? Seeing as though their comrades charging, the others join in. The eleventh is the first ones up to reclaim the cannons. 
And the Mexicans break without much ado. Their charge over here fails as uh, the main the main line is completely overrun by Confederate troops at this point. We've captured the guns. Now let's not stop before we hit. Before we uh, hit the, uh, I don't know, I don't know a point down low in Mexico. Before we hit, uh, before we hit Argentina, I don't know. There's one Mexican unit left. Get the cannons up. Maybe I can fire some canister down upon them there. As uh, all my troops, all Jackson's troops, are now converging to across the river. There he is, right in among his troops. It might be difficult now because the Mexicans will be able to fire upon us as we are crossing this very thin crossing point. Oh, I'll just order the uh, 15th to start slaughtering the Mexicans that are crossing. And that will actually be kind of a good representation of how many units they actually killed in the last uh, fight. Well, maybe maybe they killed a little bit more in this one because they're slaughtering so many. Okay, let's have one unit at least line up and shoot the... Oh, the Mexicans retreat just due to the canister. And there we have it. This is how uh, the Confederates won Mexico. And I did it all with cannons. Yes. Good old cannons. Yum yum. Pecan pie. Or I guess they uh, got some flank fire by the Mississippi volunteers. And that's what actually caused the rout. Um, I forgot actually in the Cana in the Canada video, of course it crashed, so um, I didn't actually uh, show you the statistics, but let's go ahead and do that for this one. So let's go ahead and end it. Bloodthirsty, 15th Alabama, keep charging after the Mexicans. We haven't killed enough today. And here we have it, the statistics of victory. I deployed 4,600 men, the enemy deployed 4,400 men, where of which 2,800 of the Mexican troops were lost, uh, while they were able to inflict only 500 casualties this time around. I think they probably inflicted more casualties the last round, because there was actually a more prolonged fight, while here I was able to kind of get them in a, in a spot where I was able to completely crush them. Um, you can see there's a little bit of, uh, well, 50 men were a team killed on my side at least. And, oh, Jackson actually managed to kill a Mexican somehow. I have no clue how that happens. Uh, and then we look at the kills. Confederate cavalry got the most. Uh, they got almost 500. Then Confederate Virginia volunteer. I'm not entirely sure how they got so many. I imagine they... I don't know. Where were the Virginia Volunteers? The Virginia Volunteers was up on the hills. I guess they took a few charges or if they were shooting. I don't know that they they only lost 17 men. But I guess the 15th Alabama is even more astonishing because they only lost 4 men inflicting 410 casualties on the Mexicans. And then we have the Confederate uh, First Company Richmond Howitzers. Those were the ones that was stationed up here, the ones they retreated. Um, let's see if I can find the cannons here. The ones we reclaimed here in the end, right in front of Jackson here. So these are the the um, first company. Managed to get 240 kills. Then Rhodes Brigade, 11th Georgia, the ones that led the charge. 
and we go through it and we can see the Marylanders didn't get anyone the Emerald Guard didn't get anyone this time around we'll go a few others there that didn't get money uh, this one lost a guy imagine being in this unit probably didn't see any fight whatsoever a stray bullet comes and hits you and kills you nasty anyways this was the invasion of Mexico, and Mexico is now conquered. Uh, I have possibly a few more videos lined up, and with that said, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!